Let me see that dog. Can you wait a bit? Good. 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 Baby, make it booty go. That dog. The dog. The dog. Some of y'all are too young to know what that is. I don't want to be go. Let me make it booty go. Ooh, that truck's a scandalous. I want a honey bunny and a bag of chips. Two dollars and forty cents. And y'all need to stop with these. Um, I've had people like leave comments and hateful comments talking about. If you're a vegan, why do you call it this? Why do you call it that? If I say, oh yeah, deep fried banana blossoms, then I'm like, you? Then I'm not about to defend myself because some loser wants to come on my post talking noise. I ain't got time. I got vegan fish to fry. <laughs> It's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan, and today my dog is playing with his toys in the background. So we're making my vegan catfish with banana blossoms. Let's see how they look before I cook them. So yeah, you need banana blossoms canned. Don't try to use fresh banana blossoms. They need to be in brine, okay? They need to be soaking in brine because if you get fresh banana blossoms, they're gonna be really leafy, kind of like actual leaves, like. How you gonna fry it up, fam? This is actually the can that I'm using today. This is actually my first time using this brand. I like the Aeroid D, but my H Mart was actually out of it. So I got the Tropics, which it actually, I ain't gonna lie, I really like it. I kinda think I like it more than the other brand. Aside from the banana blossom, obviously, you will need I like to use cornmeal and I like to season it myself, but I find it much easier and faster if I use fish fry, the Louisiana fish fry. And I like the one with the lemon added to it so I don't have to add lemon pepper. And I mixed it with regular cornmeal. And also, I need some flour, hold please. So I don't really feel like opening that big thing of flour. You don't actually need the flour, so I'm not gonna use it this time because I don't feel like it. So you need the fish fry, the cornmeal, granulated onion, or onion powder and this is actually garlic powder I just repurposed my onion powder my garlic powder is like in a rig, really big bulk size jug and then I have hot sauce obviously black pepper Old Bay Raging Cajun um, you can use Tony's you can use slap your mama you don't have to use any of that but if you want it to taste really good you need to use it my homemade ranch um, and if you don't know how to make this, go back a few videos. I actually have a video to teach you how to make this. It's really easy, really fast, no wait time. You don't have to wait for the buttermilk to curdle or anything. What else? Seaweed. This is very important to get that fishy taste, okay? In addition to the Old Bay, this is very important. So seaweed, I have two different kinds. I have, um, this is just regular seaweed here. And this one is hot chili seaweed. Now this is pretty broken up already, but I want it to be really crumbly. I'm just gonna break it up some more. You can use your hands for this, but I advise against it because it's very hard to get off the fingers. It's really messy. So what I did to this is I actually put it in the colander and I drained it and I rinsed it over with cold water, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take my seasonings. Y'all already know I don't really measure I love Old Bay, it's delicious. If I could guess, that's probably about a tablespoon, maybe. And then let's go ahead and get our garlic powder. Onion powder. Black pepper. Y'all gonna be so mad at yourselves when you realize how fast and easy this meal is. Malaysian Cajun. I, I prefer Tony's but I have a big old bulk size of that. And I just don't like fooling with the bulk size um, containers because they're bigger than me. My hot sauce. This is optional, you don't have to add this. I love hot sauce. And now for our seaweed. This is gonna give it that fishy taste. Just some of each. Okay, you guys, so this is how it looks. 
So now let's get our homemade ranch. I know this is weird. So most people would use like egg or something, not in this, but like to get things to stick. Okay, normally I like to let this marinate for a while, but I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I don't really feel like waiting for that. So we're gonna take one of our blossoms and it's nicely coated and we're just gonna put it into our breading and we're gonna proceed to do a few of them like this. Now there are gonna be straggly pieces left. We actually mold these into actual cutlets and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But let me go ahead and get the ones that are intact first. So we have a few in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss them. And so with this, you'll need to squeeze them a little bit. Squeeze them. So it's like you're squeezing the juice out and you're squeezing the cornmeal into it as well. And it's gonna form like a cutlet or something, like a, a filet, if you will. Okay, you guys, so when I was talking about the pieces, see how these pieces are like all mangled and broken up? So all I do is put it in, in the cornmeal like that, like before, but I just kind of mold it. That's it, like I just shape it into how I want it to look. I'm gonna add a little bit more cornmeal. I'm gonna go ahead and change my gloves because these ones are getting a little cakey. Bye. So this is how they look after I've breaded them and let them sit for a second so that the meal can set in. And we're gonna go ahead and start frying a few. I still have quite a bit to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it started so that you guys can see. I'm gonna drop them. it a little bit just to make sure that they don't stick together and I'm just going to keep breading the rest and sitting them on the plate the reason why I set them on the plate is because the breading gets to sit in and it gives it a crunchier texture that's going to be a big one it's a key stick trying to go fast that's on these bad boys Woo! That looks good. Let's take them out and put them on our cooling rack. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the ones that I already have breaded in. Cause my kids is gonna whoop my ass if I take any much longer. When your mom is pineapple vegan. Dang it, I got my clothes on dirty. Mm, it's all dirty. It's gonna be a better day, better day. But let me know. Oh, you the little cutie. Look at the little cutie. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Don't you do it. Don't do it. <laughs> what the hell was that, you little freckle face cartoon? Okay, you guys, so this is my girl, baby, Raven. Most beautiful baby you'll ever see. And I'm gonna make her a vegan. All right, you guys, so this is how it looks. Now I'm about to get my best friend to come over here and try. Come on, best friend. All right, y'all, this is my best friend, Alexis. My bestest friend in the whole entire world. Here, get closer. That's good. Does it taste like fish? Mm-hmm. So overall, you like it? Oh yeah, it's good. It's oh. really good. So you guys, we have a non-vegan, and she tried it. She loves it. She said it tastes like fish. Mm-hmm, but I love meat. Yeah, she loves meat. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you guys, I want you to meet my little niece, my aunt slash goddaughter. This is my best friend's daughter, Gianna. Say hi, Gia. Hi. And she is one of my biggest fans. She watches literally all of my videos. And so does my um, niece Trinity. They're like my biggest supporters. So I had to get them in there. 
and yes. <laughs> so guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, please. Save the turtles, please. Save the turtles, please. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you make this recipe, I really want to know. So please tag me in it on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you post it. I want to know. Even if you message it to me, you don't want to put it on blast. It's okay. I could be low key, but if you take a good picture, I'm reposting it, just so you know. But yes, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Let's go to the basement. You know the move. Ah! It wasn't even that bad. <laughs> I did all that for nothing. It wasn't even that bad.